leaves and he'll go white in a minute. You should get him in the right spot. Oh, there you go. So Is that's he dead got now? Him. He's dead. Alright, so he's dead. So you can hold him up. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Put your camera down and I'll get a photo. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to see this bit here? Yep. There's like, um, that'll pull that out. Just try to get as much of this middle bit out as you can when you do mm -hmm. it. So grab it, pull. I could wash that out, which we can do in a minute. We get these can wings. Can you remove the wings? Yeah. You can cook that, but I don't. Mm -hmm. so try to get your thumb in it for a good time. So get this and rinse it. So while you're rinsing it, you can pull the rest of the, the bits off. So while you're rinsing it, you can pull the bit, the rest of the wings off? Yeah, just this coloured type skin around the outside. And like it's skin around the outside? Just cleaning it up before you start cooking it? Yeah. So we can get that off. None of those little hanging bits there. The bits on the very end we can chop off later. But we get all this off here. Clean it up so it's nice. A nice clean tube. We don't need to run the water like that the whole time. But yeah. Uh, so on the jetty, it's, you use what's out on the jetty, they use. I think it's salt water, yep. which is good. So that's quite a nice clean tube already. Actually worked quite well freezing it. So if there's anything in the middle, have a look in the middle of the tube. There might still be a little bit of guts and stuff left there. You can just sort of get that and pull it out. Just make sure it's nice and clean in the tube. All right. So. There are other little things, devices you can get that make this a bit easier, but it's not that bad. And actually it was alright when it was frozen, it actually cleaned quite well. I think maybe it's a good thing to freeze it first for a bit, but that tube is not bad. Can you get a cutting board out there? Oh, I've got the knife out, mate. Uh, Sorry, right, I got one. So I'm just going to cut that bit off so it's neat. And then you just cut it into. It can be a bit tough. So some of the fellas were saying that it's often quite good to freeze them because that does soften it up a bit. All right, so make it ten more tender when you cook it. There are a couple of ways you can tenderise it. You can pound it, which was like a mallet type thing. And we've got one in, in there. So it's that big silver thing. Looks like a hammer. So you can, yeah. This is a mallet. You can pound it with that if you want. But another thing you can do is marinate it in milk for a couple of hours. If you marinate it in milk and then wash it off, before you go to cook it, that often makes it a bit tender, a bit more tender. And the trick with cooking squid is to cook it fast. Alright, in a nice hot pan, cook it really quick. Some paper towel or something to dry that off. Yeah. It needs to be a bit drier. Paper towel. Sometimes this is a bit too soft, ends up sticking to it, but I just, uh, there's only a little bit of it. So you don't have to use that sort of stuff. You don't have to use that, but it's pretty simple. Well, it's already pre-mixed. We have probably haven't got enough squid here to use a whole packet or whatever, but what we'll do is we'll just give pat that dry a little bit. So guys, we're using Tandico coating mix, and it's just easy. It's a, it's like a crumb mix, isn't it, Dad? It's just a salt and pepper squid mix. So you can yeah. use just flour and salt and pepper, 
you roll it in that, and then so what we'll do is when we'll get that off, and we'll get a bowl, put some of the squid mix there in the bowl. So yeah, don't tip it all in there because we don't need it all, but just a little bit. So, just going to put a little bit in the bowl. We're cooking it now, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, how much? So I'll just tip some out. A bit more. That So guys, we've got our salt and pepper. Coating mix, and that's what we'll be coating our squid in. Do we need to put some flour in there as well? No, it's got flour in it. Okay. So that's just an easy mix. You can find pre mix is good enough. And then all you do is you drop the squid in like that and mix it around a bit. So mix it around a bit. Like this, and then you mix it around and you put the coating over the top of the squid and you just mix it. I like butter, Marshall. I always use butter. I think it's good flavour. This here. Make sure you get the the coating all over the squid. Make sure the, like the squid is smothered in the coating, like all over it. Right. So I only use a bit of olive oil, Marshall. Yep. Bit of olive oil in the pan, man. Alright, bit of olive oil, and then I like to use a bit of butter because I think butter's good flavour. Alright, so we're chopping. So, we've done mixing them up now, now we're going to go cook them. I'll just squeeze a bit of lemon on there, that helps it to cook. Woo! That always does that, so you don't worry about, about if it sizzles a bit. But a little bit of lemon on this is beautiful. And you just wait till it gets. You know, a nice golden brown colour on one side and then you turn it over. Right, that's all it needs. So that's probably pretty close. Right, nice and quick. Because you don't want it to be, you don't want to overcook it. Um, undercooking it's probably not so bad, but overcooking it, it's just got to be super chewy. It's got to be nice and fast. See, that's good. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'll let it cook for another minute or so, and then it's done. All right, so we don't want to cook it much more than that. I got some reasonable colour. Well, these ones could probably do, but we don't want to overcook it, so they'll be fine. We'll turn them off. Tuck them straight on the plate. Tuck them on the plate. Remember that you turn the gas off too when you do that. Turn the gas off and especially in houses like this, have your fan on so you don't get smoke all through the house and your smoke alarm goes up. Alright, so they look pretty good. Put the pan there, be careful. Let it cool down a bit and they're ready to eat. Yeah. So we'll take it. <coughs> Come and have some mum. So once you finish eating it, you let can... Let it hot. They, they might be a bit hot so you might want to let them cool down for a bit. Mm. But once they finish cooking, you can start eating.